So they'll, they'll actually jump a bird if yeah. they get the opportunity. I would not expect that from I a know. cute and cuddly animal like the sugar glider here. And I know, oh, 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 you all right? Australia's marsupials come in all shapes and sizes. Some bounce, some dig, some can climb, some have square poops. Oh yeah, it's true. But did you know that some fly? Well, kind of. More accurately, they can glide. And today, my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Miller Wilson, invited me to join him at Australia's Wildlife HQ to have a look and hold one of the cutest crusaders of the treetops, the sugar glider. What's going on everybody? I'm Mark Vins and we're here today with our good friend, Miller Wilson, a native Australian naturalist and adventurer himself. You have an awesome YouTube channel. And in fact, here's a cool thing. We work with Miller every single time we've come to Australia. And I think these flowers that you have here today are not for me. Not for you this time. I don't time. think. Not this time anyways. <laughs> but you have a pretty cool guest, or I think two guests, that you want to introduce us to. Yeah, so over here we've got the native sugar glider and that's what we've got these flowers for. Okay, so this is willow. And this is blossom. Do they eat the flowers or are they getting the nectar? They're actually getting the nectar. So how they get their name sugar glider is by their sweet diet. So they love feeding on the nectar out of these flowers and tree sap even. So are they herbivores? They're just eating the sugar? No, they're actually omnivores. So apart from these flowers, they'll also feed on small lizards, bird eggs, and have even been known to eat birds. Really? Yeah. So they'll actually jump a bird if yeah. they get the opportunity to. So they come out at night, they're a nocturnal species, and they'll go up into the bird's little hollows, and they'll actually go in there, attack the birds, and eat them. Wow. Yeah. I would not expect that from a cute and cuddly animal like the sugar glider. The tail is curling around my finger here. Is, is this a prehensile tail? It's a semi-prehensile tail. So what will happen is they won't be able to hang completely, like their whole weight from okay. their tail, but they will use it to balance when they're up there in the tree canopy. How do they pull off the gliding? Well, they've got a gliding membrane that connects from their front to their back legs. Got it. And what they'll do is uh -oh. they'll- oh oh <laughs> getting a little, uh, getting a little nervous. A little stage fright over here. Willow just went to the bathroom all over my arm. That's okay, Willow. It's, it happens to the best of us. Why don't you have some flowers? I'm kind of glad I gave you that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you were, you were saying about the gliding membrane. So they've got it. It connects from its front leg to its back leg, and they'll climb up to the very top of the tree canopy, and they'll push themselves off, glide through the air as they stick out their arms and back legs. Uh -huh. And these guys have been known to be able to glide for over 150 feet. Wow. Which is just crazy, but normally they only jump from tree to tree. Gliding that far is pretty rare. And now these sugar gliders are pretty robust in population, right? They're not like a species of concern. Well, this species of sugar glider isn't endangered, but there are other species like the mahogany and the yellow belly glider that are in trouble. And the reason why they are endangered is because of us. Things like deforestation, urbanization, and even our pets like cats and dogs will really affect these species. How many offspring can they have? Um, well, a female can produce two babies at one given time, okay. and they raise them in a pouch as they are a marsupial. Yeah, so like a kangaroo, it's called a joey? It's I called assume. a joey, yeah, right. and they're about the size of a jelly bean. Really? Yeah. Willow and Blossom have been doing great for us so far, but to keep them comfortable, we're going to give them a little pouch break. Oops, looks like Blossom left a little present on Miller's arm there. Sure glad that's not my sleeve. You know, when we think about marsupials in Australia, they take all different forms. You know, you have obviously the arboreal species like a sugar glider, but then you also have your, your kangaroos, your wallabies, your wombats. That's the one okay. species that I've always wanted to see, but they're so elusive here in Australia. We actually got to work with one at a wildlife park just like this, and they were incredible. They almost look like a mixture between a groundhog and a bear. Yeah, they're like <laughs> a little bulldozer. Hey? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, Miller, so if most mammals in Australia are, in fact, marsupials, what's not a marsupial? Well, you've got bats, you've okay. got rodents, and echidna and platypus, they're monotremes. So the awesome thing about them is they actually lay eggs. We've definitely seen an echidna before. We have yet to see a platypus. Maybe next time we come to Australia, we'll have to get out there and find ourselves some platypus. For sure, for sure. They're an awesome species. Well, do we want to see if our friends are ready to come back out for one last look, and then we'll let them take their afternoon naps. 
And actually, I can see that modified nail in the back miller, and they use that as a comb. Yeah, so a healthy sugar glider will never have any knots in its fur. And they're very good at climbing, I've noticed. They are very good I at climbing. I'm just trying to stop yeah. Willow from climbing on my arm, and it's almost impossible. You are an expert climber. Hello. Yes. That's what they use those little claws for there. Uh -huh. So when they're flying through the air, or gliding, should I say, they'll actually glide and grip onto trees with those claws. All right. Well, because these are nocturnal creatures, I think it's time for these sugar gliders to have their afternoon nap. This has been a pretty cool experience, hanging out with perhaps the cutest marsupial to call Australia home. Thank you so much, Miller, for showing us this amazing creature today. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure to check out Miller's YouTube channel, Miller Wilson. He has all kinds of cool adventures, similar to ours, actually. And I know, oh. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> adventures just like that. Yeah, so definitely like that. check out Miller's channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Miller, thanks again, buddy. Yeah. Appreciate spending time with you today. I'm Mark Vins. I'm Miller Wilson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs> Cool, that was good. Oh, 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 oh you all right? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Did you film that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You all right? Did you get your face? <laughs> no, nah, it's all right. Okay, cool. <laughs> they, they, they do have those combs. I think they're trying to yeah, tell you something. Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was a knot in my head. Yeah. They wanted to get it out for me. It's always a treat to visit wildlife parks that support conservation like Wildlife HQ. But what really made today special was spending time with our good friend Miller Wilson. While you may not have realized it, Miller has been helping us with our videos since our very first trip to Australia. Do you remember those freshwater eels? Miller was there. Or how about those cool river stingrays? Yep, Miller helped us on that one too. He truly is a great friend of Brave Wilderness, and we'd really appreciate it if you would go over and check out his YouTube channel, Miller Wilson, and support his adventures and efforts in Australian wildlife conservation. So what they'll do, they'll wait in ambush. Oh. Take a look at that, he nearly got my finger just then. Whoa, this is so weird. And as long as we keep visiting Australia, there's a pretty good bet, yep, you guessed it, Miller will be right there with us. See you soon, bud.